And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. Welcome back to Channel 5 News this morning. Your time is 643. As you head out, you may run into some patchy fog. Let me show you where the thickest stuff is, and it's really not too thick out there. Uh, but it is reduced down to about three miles from Raymondville down into Harlingen down the I-69 corridor. So just be ready to be uh, seeing the noticeable fog out there. But four miles in Port Isabel, five to seven miles in the mid to upper valley and relatively clear conditions to start your day in Brownsville. So when you step outside, you will notice it's mild out there. Check this out. 71 degrees in Port Isabel, as well as here in Wessico, to 72 in Brownsville, 70 Raymondville and Harlingen. Good morning to you in Edinburgh. You're waking up at 75 and at 74 in McAllen, 72 to start your day in Rio Grande City. It's not that bad of a setup, but as the day goes on, it will get warmer. High temperatures today will range from 80 at the coast to 84 in Brownsville, 85 Wessico, Harlingen, and Raymondville, up to 88 today in Rio Grande City and McAllen, and even Edinburgh will be nice and warm near 87 degrees. There will be a mix of sun and clouds today, and there's also a small chance for rain, which I'll show you coming up in just a few minutes. But if you're going to do any boating, a southeast wind today at 15 to 20 miles per hour will build the bay up to about a moderate chop. Seas will stay at about two to four feet. It's really not too bad out there, but you may have to deal with an isolated shower or two. Uh, set up across Texas shows this stationary boundary staying well to our north right now. Uh, so we're going to continue to pump in the lower level moisture, making it feel very muggy or even humid outside. We could even see a stray shower or two. So let's look at future track. We put the clock in motion at nine. Really not much going on. That patchy fog should clear out just after mid morning. And then the rest of the day looks like maybe a few spots of green here and there, really around a 20% chance for rain, so it's not that favorable today. Now, as we head into the second half of the afternoon, it looks like things will be pretty dry for your drive time home at 5, 6, and even 7 o'clock. Now, as we roll into Valentine's Day, it does look like it's going to be a little bit more favorable for a few more scattered showers or a thunderstorm with high temperatures right around 81. The cold front will move through early, well, in the mid-morning hours into the afternoon, and then after that, a lot of dry, cooler air will move in from the north, so it won't be as humid. Things are going to clear out overnight, and the lows will drop down to about 50 degrees, so definitely some snuggling weather. But here are your rain chances, 20 up to about 40 percent tomorrow, and again, that's scattered activity, so not everybody will get the rain, uh, but those that do will definitely appreciate it. It's needed right now. By midweek, we're back to mainly dry conditions. It looks like we are going to get a nice little temperature dip. So watch this, 85 today, 81 tomorrow. Tomorrow night, 50 degrees, and then we rebound to 69 on Wednesday. By Thursday, it's still very nice out there, near 71, just a little bit warmer, but still not as humid. But by Friday, going into the weekend, that's when things start to turn muggy again. You'll notice a little bit more cloud cover, maybe even a spotty shower on Friday, but your rain chances are very, very small. We'll go from the upper 70s on Friday. As we head into the weekend, we'll be in the upper 80s, and it will be rather breezy out there with partly sunny skies, and you'll feel the humidity a little bit more. The coldest night this week looks to be Wednesday night with low temperatures near 46, and then we'll gradually get warmer from there from 51 on Thursday night up to about the mid and even upper 60s Saturday night. That's your updated first one by forecast.